Steve from Stavari here with a really quick, easy way to transfer content between one Xbox One to another Xbox One. Uh, and you could be doing this because you have just bought an Xbox One X and you want to push content from your old thing to the new shiny console that you have. It may be like me, you have an Xbox upstairs and an Xbox downstairs and you just want to move content without the need for a USB external hard drive. Anyway. It's pretty easy. The first thing you're going to need to do is go into your uh, guide button, your home menu, and uh, head into settings. Now, there's basically one setting that you need to make sure uh, is set before this can work, and that's on both Xbox Ones. And that's found under the network option, under network transfer. And you need to make sure that this allow network transfer button is ticked. Now, that's on the new Xbox and the old Xbox. When you want to do the transfer, both Xbox uh, One consoles will have to be turned on. And when they are, just like you can see on the right, I have uh, a list of all the consoles that I can kind of transfer to and from. So what you'd need to do is go on the console that you'd like to copy things to. In this case, I'm on my old Xbox One S, and I'm looking at my Xbox One X, and I'm going to move things from the X to the S. So clicking on that X will give me a listing of all the content that's there. Uh, this does take a little bit of time, depending on what you have uh, on that console. I've got about 400 games, so we're probably just going to skip ahead and uh, get to this list as soon as it loads. And now that it's loaded, I can go and pick uh, all the content that I'd like to move across, or I can go individually and move uh, one game at a time. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go and grab some of the titles that I, uh, I do need to move across, uh, just to kind of check out on X and S. I'm going to go and grab Gears of War 4, and I'm going to go and grab uh, maybe, oh, I don't know. How about Record Definitive Edition? Now, once I've selected all the content, I can hit Copy Selected on the uh, left-hand side of the screen. And that should take me to a screen, there we go, where I can either move it to the Xbox console itself, or if I have any external uh, hard drives attached, I can move it to, to that location as well. Once I confirm the copy... It should take me to, there we go, My Games and Apps, and that's going to sit in the queue just like uh, normal downloads would. Now, as you can see, I'm in the middle of transferring Super Lucky's Tail. Uh, in a second, this should update with the new content, uh, and I'll have a kind of indication of how long it's going to take to move the content across. Now, something that we've already uh, established is that you need to have both consoles on to uh, be able to transfer across your network. What I've also found is you can't have the original console downloading any game updates. So I was trying to get an update for Forza uh, Horizon, sorry, Forza Motorsport 7. Because that download was being uh, downloaded on the original console, I couldn't copy from that console. Uh, same thing, if you have a game playing on either console, it stops this process, uh, I guess because it needs to kind of access uh, the game from the hard drive, and that creates a problem with the network, network transfer. There you have it, though. Relatively easy. Uh, as you can see here, it's it's moving content, you know, between 55 to 60 megabytes a second on my uh, home router, which is a lot faster than re-downloading downloading the content or, uh, you know, going up and down stairs or what have you with a USB uh, external hard drive copying and, and, uh, and moving in that fashion. So there you go. Hope that helps. Uh, have a good day.